are being evacuated. Because of a passenger on board. So I'm waiting for my test results as my PCR tests didn't come in properly. So I have to do another nose poking. Just did that out here in the sun. And I'm waiting for the results so I can actually fly in three hours time. I just finished my rapid test and I'm now walking back to the terminal. It's an early morning walk, but it's only a few minutes. Heading to the terminal now, where I see more cars than I've seen in over a year. That's a good sign, I guess. Still quiet though. Normally, this parking lot is really full. Yeah, that's a lot of cancellation still. This is arrivals though. Let's head for departures. Oh, that's a lot of people. This little shop is now called Half Mart. We're going to sell Hattish next door. For those that have a test in the app, please continue. Oh, I don't have one in the app, so. And we check again, just to be sure. The long queue for the computer screens is in fact only for those that do not have a green check mark showing in their Pedulilinungi app, but also don't have paper proof of any COVID-19 tests. When flying on domestic flights, you need to be at least partially vaccinated and have a valid COVID-19 test. Both should be in the Pedulilinungi app but it just doesn't work perfectly every time. The check-in area at Terminal 2 of Sukarno Hatta International Airport looks very busy. I haven't seen it this busy ever since before the pandemic started. We have to understand that the Terminal 1 is still completely closed for major renovation works and Terminal 2F is also closed completely for renovations. Although that part of Terminal 2 used to be an international part of the terminal. Really good to see. And I'll check in at the shortest queue, of course. Okay, that took the better part of half an hour to check in, and the queues are really long. Check in is really slow, I don't have a clue why. It's just. My chicken took less than a minute and the ones in front of me were like 10 minutes. Most shops are still closed. It's the uh, start of a holiday week for most Indonesians. Well, it's the first time they can travel in to a relatively freely in one and a half years. So I don't expect shops to pop up open directly. I think one by one they will reopen. It's a queue for some food here. I guess that's a good sign. It smells really good though. Hmm. And the liquor store is open. Okay, at this boarding area, D7. That's because one of the flights was moved to another one. I could board as expected, but during boarding of the remaining passengers behind me, something happened at the front of the plane. 
one of the passengers clearly was in a medical emergency. As in the movies, crew came down asking for anyone with medical experience to help. All the way in the back of the plane. Okay, crew just asked for a doctor. Outside CPR, there is nothing I could do. So I didn't volunteer as other passengers as well as staff were already attending to the passenger. Clips of this medical emergency will follow now. But there is no person in distress visible as I only filmed from where I was seated and the passenger already was in his or her seat. The music you hear is as it was in the cabin during the boarding process. I didn't add this afterwards. Yeah, we are going to evacuate the passenger, I guess. being evacuated. There's all the passenger on board. People don't really know how to handle. And here we started an hour ago. Let's wait and see. After we were returned to the boarding gate again, an ambulance arrived outside of the view of the passengers that were in the boarding gates. After what seemed, and probably was, just a fairly short time, we were called again for reboarding. We did so in an orderly manner. The medical emergency earlier was not spoken about again. Unfortunately, these things happen and I hope the passenger makes a full recovery. Okay, leg space is... I'm sitting all the way at the back. Two fingers. That's marginal. No neighbor yet. But I guess it's a full flight, so. Exiting the airport was just a formality. Since the checks had been done before departure, it was merely a scan of the digital document the passengers filled in. But I have the feeling that too much attention is given to the data input anyway. Since it's regulated that passengers fill out the digital form, there is no option not doing it. Notice also this airport, at least the arrivals area, is quite busy. It's really good to see this many people moving through the luggage collection area. It has been a really long time since I saw these kinds of crowds at airports. That would work like a breeze. <laughs> 